Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, today's video we're going to be talking about the native data logging in Aviva and Tech HMI. We will not be utilizing an Aviva historian. Instead, we're going to log the data locally um, in our InTouch application. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open Window Maker. I have InTouch 2023 R2 SP1 installed here. And I would like to start by showing you first um, at the home page here, the tag dictionary. I have three temperatures that I'm going to be working on today, and I'm going to be utilizing these three points that are simulated by my uh, mode bus simulator. And um, I'm going to utilize these three points for the trends. All right. So first things first, um, I have two different graphics here. The first one is for the multi-pin and the other one is for native trend. I created two different windows to host these two graphics and I'm going to start by uh, first of all going to the backstage here. Um, this area is where we call the backstage in the uh, window maker, in the InTouch window maker. And I'm going to click on configure to show you where historical logging happens. So if you click here on historical logging, the first step here is um, we're saying historical logging. This is specifically to enable historical logging within the InTouch HMI or the Aviva InTouch HMI um, application itself. And you get to store that um, or those files, uh, those LGH files in either um, the application directory, which is the default location, or you get to choose to um, store them somewhere else. The other tab here, so I made sure I enable that because this is what we're going to be discussing today. Um, the other thing here is the historian logging. I have another video that talks about these different options here. Um, historian logging specifically to log um, in-touch data into the Aviva historian. Um, if I enable this, I'll be logging data to my um, historian. I'm going to keep this unchecked because we're not going to utilize the historian. I only want to show you the option where we're utilizing the data logging in InTouch. So I'm going to go back um, to the home page here and I'm going to start by looking into the native trend. So as you guys um, probably know, there are um, two different trend clients here. So there's the trend client, which is the native in touch trend client and also there is the um, trend control which is the historian client trend so we're not going to look at the historian the aviva historian client trend we're only going to look at the trend control and um, the reason for that is because this is one of the tools that you can utilize to retrieve data from the lgh files i'm going to right click here and go to edit animation i'm just going to quickly go over the um, settings here so I added three different pens, temperature one, two, and three. These are the expressions or the references. So these are the, the item names that I have or the tag names that I have. If you click on each one of them, you'd find the details listed below. So the color, for example, the width, if you have a description, if you want to add minimum and maximum. And these could also, these could be um, fixed values like I have here from zero to 200. And you could also click on the um, ellipses and browse um, the um, field points for this specific tags. Um, in this case, for sake of simplicity, I just want to make them um, fixed numbers or the scale to be fixed numbers. And I'm just going to go from zero to 200. Um, same thing with the second pen and third thing, um, and the same thing with the third pen here. If I click on appearance, this is where you choose things like um, to show cursors or not, you know, change background color, um, if you want to add the gradient, if you want to add or show the grid or not. Um, so all of these things can be configured here. And then for the options, um, you can also show things like the pen selector and the, um, um, the runtime context menu. So I'm showing some of these things and I'm hiding some. You can also choose the retrieval type here, whether it's cyclic or full, and then you also um, adjust the trend duration, which could also be adjusted um, at the runtime also. Then historical sources, which is, you know, um, the important point here. So um, if you utilize this trend client here, which is native to InTouch, um, 
meaning you do not need a historian client for that or to utilize this trend here, you get to choose whether you, you want to use the historian data or the in-touch log history, which is the LGH files. I didn't even um, enable historian logging, and I'm only utilizing the LGH files or the native in-touch logging. So I'm going to choose this. Um, I, I just, you name it, whatever makes sense to you, I name these LGH, and then the UNC path is basically the... Um, the location or the folder that contains these LGH files or the folder that contains the log the log data. Um, there is more uh, settings here that could be um, um, that could be um, configured. Um, I'm gonna keep this simple. I think this is good enough for the purpose of this video, um, and I'm just gonna say okay here and. Um, I think we're good. Um, I added three different points here. These are situation awareness text points or graphics here. Um, they're, they're doing nothing but just reading the values uh, just to confirm that we're getting the values that we're looking at, that we, um, the, the same values that we're, we're looking at here at the trend. So um, I'm going to leave everything as it is and just say save and close. And then when I go to runtime, And I open the native trend window here. Um, as you can see, these are the three temperature tags or points that we uh, configured in our um, trend client. These are the same points here reading, uh, just showing the text. And um, the axes are uh, or the scales are according to the uh, configuration that I made there in the trend client. Um, and, and this is basically um, how it looks like in runtime. Now going back and checking this uh, multi-pen graphic here, which is also another way or another tool to retrieve the um, data from your LGH files. Um, I utilized this. Um, there's a multi pen and there's also a trend pen here. So I use the multi pens trend. Um, and the way this is configured is through um, the um, edit animation uh, window here. So again, I added three different pens temperature is one, two, and three, temp one, two, three here. And each when you click on each one of them, you see the details down here, right? So uh, for the first one, I actually chose um, a, um, a, a a dot field for a minimum and the maximum, and for the second one, um, I made it an auto range, uh, or I chose an auto range, basically with a margin of twenty percent. For the third one here, uh, I gave fixed numbers for the scale. Um, you can choose different colors, weights, and patterns here for the um, for the tags or for the lines. And then once you're happy, um, um, again, coming back here, um, the options for where the data comes from or the default trend source. Um, the source here, you could choose historian or in-touch log historian, uh, sorry, in-touch log history or LGH files. And this is the one that I chose here. And you also need to specify the UNC path here which in our case, again, is the same directory as the application. Um, so, I'm, so I'm just going to keep everything as it is. I'm going to say OK to that. Um, and again, I added the points here. Um, they're just going to be showing as text, and that's it. I'm going to say Save and Close, and go back to Runtime. And this is how it looks like in Runtime. This is the multi pens trend. Um, it's one of the graphic um, or the um, the graphic elements um, available in InTouch out of the box. So no coding, uh, no scripting is required to utilize these multi pens trend or the trend client in InTouch, whether they're getting the data from Aviva Historian or they're getting the data from the um, native LGH files in InTouch itself. As you can see here, it's just a matter of drag and drop and then configuring um, these graphic elements to, you know, to um, um, show specific data or specific tags and, you know, customize um, the, um, the trends. All right, so now going to, um, let's say we have these, um, 
these LGH files, we have all the data logged in InTouch, and then one day we decide to utilize an Aviva historian. Um, it is possible to backfill all of the data from your LGH files into the historian. So even if you have years worth of files or years worth of data in your um, in your InTouch app, uh, you've been using LGH files or native InTouch logging for years, you can backfill that data into the Aviva historian whenever you decide to upgrade. Um, now, I want to show you one last thing here, which is another way to retrieve the data uh, from the um, native InTouch logging here. Um, and I'm going to utilize the Aviva reports for that. So let's say you have InTouch, you're using InTouch and you're using the local InTouch logging. And again, you are you don't want to use an Aviva historian or you don't need to use an Aviva historian. But you do want to generate reports, um, you can utilize um, Aviva reports and utilize that, um, that local data in your InTouch application. Um, so I'm going to go to the project here and I'm just going to show um, this InTouch LGH. This, is, um, this report here is retrieving the data from my InTouch LGH files. Um, one quick thing I want to show you here is the driver configuration. Um, Aviva reports, formerly known as Dream Reports, has, I want to say, around 100 different drivers. As you can see here, there's a long list of different manufacturers. The one that we're interested in here is the Aviva ones. And for this specific example, example here, I used the historian uh, for historical values when I was logging into my historian. But now that I'm logging into the InTouch HMI itself and I'm using the LGH files, I can use this driver here, which pulls the data directly from InTouch into Aviva reports. So um, I'm just gonna show you quickly here the database, which is the LGH database here. I'll show you the configuration. Um, it's gonna ask you um, to configure access to the LGH data files. So you select the folder where, that, where those LGH files are. And in my case here, again, it's in the same application directory and you can also change the scan frequency as well as choose the version that um or the version of InTouch that you're working on whether it's 2023 and later or 2020 and earlier uh, so this is already being configured and tested uh, all right so now what i want to show you is this uh very very simple report that i built here to get the data from um, from the InTouch logs um, again, this is just a um, a text here, which is this function, the single data function here, or the single data object here, that is just going to be reading my temperature, uh, number one, or temp one. And then this um, table here, which I'm going to double click on just to show you um, that I'm choosing external history server. And if I go and, and try and edit the um, the items, I could see these are the, like this is the list of tags that I have in my InTouch application. So I have temperature one added here or LGH temp temp one. I'm gonna say okay to that. And then you know um, I'm not gonna go through the report. The, this isn't this isn't meant to be a uh, Aviva reports video. We do have other videos that talk about Aviva reports and show demos of Aviva reports, but um, the main point here is that I'm retrieving the data from the LGH files in, in Dutch. And I'm going to go ahead, save this, and um, run my project so I could run this report here. All right, perfect. Now that it popped up, um, I'm going to choose the InTouch L underscore LGH. And I'll click on PDF and click on Generate Report. And this is the report, as you can see here. Today's date and the time. And these are the values that I have been um, receiving um, from the simulator and um, logging into my InTouch application. I think this is um, either maximum or minimum. Let's go back and check that really quickly. Uh, just for the sake of, you know, understanding. So I'm going to double click on that. And this is the last value. So I'm showing the last value for temperature one. Again, if you guys are interested um, in knowing more about Aviva reports, uh, please reach out to us or uh, check our YouTube videos and YouTube channel. You'll find a lot of videos on Aviva reports. Uh, but the bottom line here is that, um, again, um, what I wanted to highlight is that 
ability of logging data in your InTouch application. You do not require a historian to log the data if you're utilizing Aviva InTouch HMI. Um, obviously, you can utilize um, Aviva Historian. Uh, it's one of the best historians. Um, you can utilize the Aviva Historian client tools. There are four different tools that um, um, can help you retrieve the data and visualize the data from the Aviva Historian. But you always have the option of just using the InTouch data logging or the native InTouch data logging. Um, and uh, whenever you need to you know, push that LGH files data into a historian or a Viva historian in case you decide to move into a, a historian, uh, you can utilize a free utility from Aviva um, to kind of like uh, backfill the data as mentioned earlier from your LGH files into your Aviva historian. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or you have any use cases where you're utilizing um, the local data logging in InTouch, please let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in another video.